The patent describes uh, what we have affectionately now called flash nanoprecipitation. And it's not just uh, a method, but it's also all the equipment that it takes in order to, to make the material, make nanoparticles. Now, it has a couple of key components. You know, the first component is really is the devices themselves that offer and provide millisecond micromixing. The second component is the uh, block copolymers, which offer stabilization of these nanoparticles. And the third component really is the fact that it's scalable and you can do post-processing because the material is stabilized. We also work in uh, agricultural science and in some pigments and imaging agents. And it allows you to make these in a scalable way where we can make materials with as little as a tenth of a milligram of active, that we can make the same thing up to uh, thousands of pounds of uh, material in the same, with the same characteristics. And so that's the basis of the patent was really Brian's PhD thesis and realizing in, in, in achieving this goal of making nanoparticles by this technique. A core component of the patent really is, is the equipment itself. And how do you bring two different streams, or more, depending on the design, together in order to mix things in, in milliseconds? So there is some precedence out there in terms of the literature on mixing, um, but we, you know, I studied those and determined that you know, we could create something we called a confined impinging jets mixer mm -hmm. and, uh, and use that in order to optimize the micromixing. Then of course, if you're talking about uh, processing of polymers and of doing mixing, you have to understand the characteristic times of each of these processes. And understanding the characteristic times of the processes then allows you to engineer what you want to occur. So if you can manipulate the mixing time, bring all of these components together, and then you have the environment which allows nanoparticulate actives to be perfectly coated by functional copolymers that you can do all kinds of fun stuff with. And then you can take that and start to run with it and create a lot of other different ideas as well. We have an NSF grant looking at uh, using these to, to apply pesticides and herbicides, nanoparticle formulations of those. We have uh, collaborations using them for imaging agents, so how do you see where a drug is going, how do you uh, diagnose where a cancer tumor is, so uh, imaging in the medical world. Um, so there's, it's taken lots of different fingers in these, I said 20, 36 patents and applications. Um, all of those are for spe specific goals and uses of these nanoparticles, it's been quite broad. Coming up with new ideas and inventions that really translate into making a difference is valued. The number of patents I have is an indication of my desire to translate uh, material of Princeton uh, supports that. And so this award acknowledging that uh, is highly appreciated. You know, just to be part of a legacy of, of, of people that have been honored is something that really makes your career.